Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So I have a really fun haul for you guys today. I actually have a Ulta drugstore haul. I was so excited to get the chance to shop at Ulta and it has been so long since I've been in there because of the store closing and quarantine. So when I got into Ulta, I was like a kid in the candy store. I was just so excited to browse makeup. Um, they had everything covered, which was nice. Like all the testers were covered in plastic and you couldn't take testers out of the holder. Um, so they did a good job with kind of keeping everything safe. And I was just having such a blast looking around and seeing what was new and just stocking up on some old favorites. And I mainly shopped in or mostly shopped in just the drugstore section because that is my favorite section. I did browse in the higher end section. Everything that I purchased today is pretty much going to be a drugstore. And I'm very excited to share with you guys what I picked up at Ulta. So if you guys want to see what is in this haul, please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button down below to subscribe to my videos. I do tons of shop with me's. I do affordable beauty, Marshalls, Dollar Tree drugstore that is like my favorite kind of content to film and I'm really focusing on that now and you guys seem to really enjoy it so let's get into my Ulta drugstore haul okay guys so first up this actually um, it was in the more mid-end section. This is from KKW Beauty. It is a lip liner in pink one. This is the first item I have ever purchased from KKW Beauty. She had really pretty nude lipsticks as well, but they didn't have the best reviews. So I skipped out on those, um, but I'm actually wearing this color today. I have to keep checking and making sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth because I feel like every time I film, I always have lipstick on my teeth and then I watch the footage back and I'm like so embarrassed for myself. I think there were three different pink shades. They also had some nude shades. Um, when I opened it up because I couldn't see the tester, I was like, ooh, that is pink. And I'm actually wearing it today and it's a lot more subtle than I thought it was going to be. So what it looks like, I really like her packaging. That is the color and I will actually do a little swatch so you guys can hopefully see this a little bit better. Um, it is definitely brighter than I thought it was going to be. I usually don't wear lip liners that are this bright. It's not like a hot pink. I don't know if you guys can see it on my lips, but I just paired it with Kind of Sexy from MAC, and I actually really like the way that it looks. It was very creamy and easy to blend, and that's what all the reviews said. And this was only $12. So that's the same price as... Eugenia Physicians Formula. So I thought that was really affordable. Honestly, I thought it was going to be like $20, like a MAC lip liner. And there's another part of me that knows that her stuff is made by the same people who make ColourPop. So I'm like, is it worth it to buy this when I can just get a ColourPop lip liner? You're really just paying for her name. And I think that's why I've never purchased anything from her before because I wasn't really interested. But I do love lip liners and I figured I would give it a shot. I like the way that it applied. Very creamy, um, smooth. And I'm gonna wear this rest of the day and hopefully it will last. So that is the first item I wanted to share with you guys. Next up is a restock. So it was so strange. I did a makeup look um, a few weeks ago. Everything I used was new except for my eyeliner and it was the NYX Faux Whites. You guys know how much I love these because they're white eyeliners but they come in different colors like mint green, blue, purple, pink, yellow. I have all the colors. I used one of my purple ones um, so there are two like purpley shades, like a lavender one, and then this one, white smoke. And then instantly after I did my makeup, my eyes were crusted over. I couldn't see. My vision was blurry. That never happens to me. That is so rare. And the palette I had used was brand new. So I figured it had to do with the eyeliner because it was old. So just like kind of a PSA, if something is really old and you're putting it in your eye, just get a new one or throw it away because I really had such a hard time that night I was like miserable so I threw those eyeliners away and I wanted to get a new one because I use these all the time I'm wearing one today I wear these all the time I kind of pair them with the eye look depending on what color eyeshadow I'm wearing so like today I would wear the pink one if I'm doing um, a yellow look I would wear the yellow one if I'm using blues I would wear the mint one and so on and so forth so white smoke is one of my favorites um it's just a light it's just like a light purple tone and you guys have literally heard me talk about these 
non-stop i put these in my waterline to brighten up my eyes see if i can do a oh i just broke it off okay i went ahead and sharpened it Ooh. okay so this color is so pretty i feel like it's just gonna show up as white on camera but it has this like lavender bluish kind of undertone to it and it's just so fun if you're looking for something that's not exactly a white stark white eyeliner in your waterline the faux whites are awesome and just super fun i got a ColourPop liner speaking of ColourPop before this is actually my first ColourPop eyeliner i wanted to try it out this is a bumble so this is the lippy pencil so i was really excited i their products are such nice quality so affordable and they're just really fun and unique so this is the shade it actually i didn't again i really couldn't see like what i was buying because the testers were like hidden so this is what it looks like i'm figuring that um this probably would be good for of course like a nude or a mauve it is that middle shade right there so um this also feels really nice too very creamy very similar to the kkw so if you're looking for something that is a little bit cheaper um then definitely check these out i'm excited to try out my first ColourPop lip pencil next up i got this lip balm this had really good reviews on the ulta website i don't know why i'm like sitting forward like this i'm getting really excited about this haul this is from tree hut they are the same people who make these sugar scrubs i have one of those to show you guys soon this is lip butter made with shea butter and rosehip oil so lots of people were saying this was amazing huge lip balm junkie i love lip balms especially if they are super creamy and nourishing and hydrating for my lips because i do suffer from more of a dry lip so this is what the lip butter looks like it smells really good um i thought it was gonna have like a rose scent but thank god it does not that i am not a fan of rose scents if you've been watching my channel for a while um so i thought it was really neat that they had come out with lip balms so i hope they come out with more scents this was really the only one that they had but so far I really like this um it does definitely hydrate the lips i've used this a couple times already because i was so excited to test it out and uh, this is also great if you just want to put like a quick gloss on your lips and you don't really want to worry about putting on a lip gloss or something this looks really pretty just like naturally over the lips next is another lip product this is from makeup revolution a couple of these were on clearance but i really wanted this shade this is the Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss. Now, a lot of times what I do at Ulta is I literally just sit in the aisle and I just read the reviews and see what people are saying works really well. And this had great reviews. So um, I got the shade Candy and of course it is a nude pink. So this I actually got because it reminded me a lot of the Fenty um, Lip Balm. I have a couple of them obviously without the sparkles in it. But I know that Makeup Revolution does a lot of dupes for higher end products so i figured i would give this a try i really like plumping lip glosses this has vitamin e in it um so let's just open this guy up and see what it looks like i know it's not going to be like opaque it's probably going to be more glossy but i don't mind that i like that just for kind of like days where i'm not wearing a lot of makeup really big container i don't know if you guys can tell it next to an anastasia uh, lippy then you can see just how like wide it is so let's do a swatch Ooh, it is wow it is more opaque and thicker than I thought it was gonna be but that color is really pretty can you guys see that it's for glossy super pink like that very pretty nude pink which is what I love and it smells minty which I figured because usually all these plumping things are usually a more like a minty scent so I'm excited to give this a go and see how it is on my lips and all that. I really love, love the color of that. Okay, next up, um, I got another one of these except a new scent. Tree Hut Banana Muffin Shea Sugar Scrub. I love anything banana scented. I love these scrubs. If you guys watch my Walmart haul from, I think it was like a month ago, I got the cupcake one. I already used the entire thing. Loved it. So I saw this one and I didn't get a chance to smell it, but it had really great reviews. Everyone said it smelled amazing. Some people were like saying it smelled like popcorn, but um, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it because I needed another one. And yes to smelling like a banana muffin in your shower. So I love using this for exfoliating and just like filling up the shower with a really nice scent. 
I'm so excited to use this and it makes me excited to take a shower. <laughs> I got this e.l.f. metallic flare highlighter in a white gold. I had never seen these before. This one though looked really pretty and I love trying out new drugstore highlighters. So let's do a little swatch of this and see what we're working with. They also had, I think it was called rose gold was the shade. Um, so they had two colors. Some people had said that the top layer was a little bit stiff, but once you got past it, it was pretty uh, creamy. Okay. A little more tan on this side. All right, it's actually really pretty. I'm gonna have to try it on the face, but you can kind of see what it looks like there. Um, it's not like the softest, softest thing in the world. Like I can see why people were saying that it had, was a little more stiff, but honestly, nothing can compare to those e.l.f. highlighters. Those are crazy stiff. This really isn't that bad at all. So um, it looks like a really pretty highlighter, definitely more on the um, lighter side, but I thought it looked pretty cool and I thought it looked pretty nice. And so far I like the swatch. It's not it looks pretty metallic like the name says so I'm excited to wear that then I got two blushes from Essence this one is bespoke I actually got this because uh, well what's her name now Taylor Wynn recommended this one and then this one just looked so pretty it's called befitting so I picked up these two this one's a little more like tan cinnamony and this one's a little bit more on the pink mauve side I love Essence and their blushes I have one that I really like so I wanted to try these out and they were literally like two dollars crazy so how pretty are these okay guys and the last thing I got was actually a gift with purchase this is um, a Lancome sheet mask they gave me I don't know if this is because I spent a certain amount I really didn't spend too much but maybe if it was like over 50 um, so this is a full-size sheet mask it says $15 value and it is the advanced Jenny Feek Hydrogel Melting Mask. So I am all about um, the Genifique line. I love it. I have the, actually the little bottle and I really like Lancome products and I love sheet masks. So I really am excited to wear this um, and do like a little spa night. So I've never actually tried a Lancome sheet mask before. So this is a really nice gift with purchase that they gave to me. So woohoo. <laughs> all right guys, so that is it for my Ulta haul. So excited to be able to share this with you guys and basically everything was drugstore except like my gift with purchase. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'm like really excited to be filming this if you guys can't tell. I had so much fun shopping. It was like the best. If you follow me on Instagram at Kim Nizzolo, I was posting a bunch of stories. Um, so let me know what you're excited about if you get to go into Ulta and shop. Um, comment down below if there's anything that I should pick up. And thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.